Well, what's up, everyone? Brad and Kyle hey, here. Hey. And... Can we say Kyle and Brad for once? What's up, everyone? Brad <laughs> and Kyle here. And if you haven't done what so already, hit the subscribe button. And if you want more content, head on over to patreon.com. Uh, for additional content, Kyle, what do we got going on today? Today, we're going to work on the no-step drill and how it can help your game. Stay tuned. So before we talk about the benefits of the no-step drill, let's dive into what it actually is. So Brad, what's, what's the no-step drill? The no-step drill is exactly what it says, man, the no-step drill. So you stand, you know, where you would normally end your slide, uh, and you get in your actual finesse position the best you can because it's hard. I mean, it takes some muscle, but try and get that trail leg back there on the ground, obviously. Get some knee bend, uh, get a ball in your hand, and then you just take a swing with the ball, and then you just release it. It's similar to the one step where you go up and take a step, but this is just nothing. You stand in here, and you just release a shot. So the reason we do this drill is to completely isolate the release, because at the end of the day, the release is the most important part Definitely. of your game. You know, you could go up there like Fred Flintstone, but if you're just butter at the end of the release and you know it's consistent with a lot of power and you know where it's going. And you, and you know where it's going, uh, that's that's what it's all about. So in this drill, we can isolate that release and get that feel and learn how to manipulate the release and uh, build consistency. Yeah, and a lot of times when you take a, a full approach, uh, the, the four or five steps before it, uh, you're building momentum, you're building speed, you're building a lot of stuff. So by the time you get to the release, it happens so quickly that your brain can't register what's actually going on. Uh, so the no-step drill allows you to slow everything down, like you said, isolate right. it, and your brain only focuses on that release. For instance, guys, you know, if you've ever, you know, maybe you get around it a lot and people are always trying to tell you to get up the back. Well, during that approach, like Brad just mentioned, uh, everything happens so fast, sometimes it's really hard to you know, get up the back like you would want to. So if you're struggling one way or another, this no-step drill allows you to isolate that release and allows you to feel you know, where your release is at at the bottom of the swing. All right, let's, let's throw one. Let's throw let's a throw shot one. here. So, it's going to take some athleticism. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get in the finished position. What's cool is I feel like, I don't know about you, but when I'm bowling my best, I feel it off my fingers. Right. And it makes you know whether it was a bad shot or a good shot, and that alone is extremely important when it comes to, to bowling well, is feeling it off your hands so you know if it was you or if it's the lane. Uh, and so right there, everything was so slow, and my mind was focusing so much about it that I definitely felt it off my fingers. So let's try one here. That one was fairly up the back. Yeah. Let's try one where you manipulate your release a little bit. Say you're working on increasing rotation. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're a person that's more up the back like I am and you find yourself in situations in tournaments uh, where you need to be a little more around it and that's hard for you, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to get in that same position. So on this one, I'm just going to get around it. And this might be hard doing a full approach because there's so many other things going on. So. It's really what you get in the finished position, isolating the release. Look at that. <laughs> Spin that was, biscuit over. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it just allows you to slow everything down so you can work on releasing because the best bowlers in the world at the end of the day, man, they they can do anything. Yeah, and in, in, it's okay in this drill to take matters to the extreme, you know, even be able to do a backup ball sure. in this I mean, and whatever. then get on the extremes of, you know, rotation. And I, I just want to give a quick story here, guys. I was just talking with Shannon O'Keefe the other day. If you don't know who Shannon O'Keefe is, one of the best women bowlers in the world. I believe she's P, uh, PWBA Player of the, the Year best, this year. Yeah. yeah, if not the best. And uh, when we're speaking in her practice uh, regimens, uh, she does this drill for at least 30 minutes uh, before every single practice session. So if you're uh, if you're watching this video and you're wondering, you know, maybe this drill is, you know, maybe I'm above this drill. Uh, maybe this drill doesn't have the complexity that I need to take sure. my game to the next level. Uh, I would I would advise you to think twice because this really build, builds. Uh, the feel that you need. And guys, if Shannon O'Keefe, one of the best bowlers in the world, is doing this every time, I'm going to listen to her For a sure, little bit. Sure, absolutely. And I'm going to take her advice. So uh, this, again, 
great drill to isolate that release and build your feel. All right guys, thanks for watching the video. And remember, No Step Drill, one of the best drills to help you improve your game. And head on over to InsideBowling.com for some merchandise. Also, Patreon, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button, please, for us, and let us know how the <laughs> No Step Drill does for you guys. See you guys.